at realradio.co.uk, on DAB Digital Radio, and across Yorkshire on 106 to 108 FM. Yorkshire, Real Radio. At 11 o'clock, I'm Naz Pramji. Barack Obama and the Prime Minister are both warning of tough fighting ahead in Afghanistan. The US President's spoken exclusively to Sky News, praising Britain's critical role. Eight UK soldiers died in just 24 hours in one of our bloodiest days since the conflict began. Defence analyst Professor Chris Bellamy told us that Afghanistan isn't the real problem, though. It's the Taliban in Pakistan who are much closer to al-Qaeda, who are the ones with a millennial view. And my view is that in this thing, Afghanistan is actually the second front, and the first front is the front in Pakistan. A firefighter's died tackling a blaze at a pub in Edinburgh. Another crew member's injured after a floor collapsed in the early hours of this morning. Justina Magdalena lives near the scene. I woke up because I heard a siren and we just looked out the window. We saw smoke. We tried to get out um, to the corridor, but there was too much smoke. So we came to the windows and they told us just to, just to stay there and they were coming for us and we were just ev evacuated to the windows. Next, almost one-third of obese people say their weight has limited their success. 27% of the people surveyed said they think they would do better if they were a bit slimmer. Patricia Sayado is from Combating Obesity in Yorkshire. She says it spans from childhood. Well, we know that, that bullying has, can have quite severe mental health um, consequences on the children. And we found that working with the adults as well, they experienced the same sort of prejudice when they were children. And it is still with them. And it gets carried over into employment. Now, an enjoyable sex life is a right, according to a new NHS leaflet being handed out in South Yorkshire. The advice being given to parents, teachers and youth workers in Sheffield is intended to update sex education. It also says regular intercourse can be good for cardiovascular health. Three people have been charged after eight kilos of heroin were found in a car on the Foyle Bridge in Northern Ireland. It's the country's biggest ever drugs haul, worth more than one and a half million pounds. And finally, the final day of the opening Ashes test is just about getting underway, with England needing to bat all day to save the game. They start on 20 for two, and all-rounders Andrew Flintoff and first Paul Collingwood are staying positive. Hopefully the ball doesn't do too much, so... We believe we've got the players in the in the shed to uh, to see the game through. Still a good pitch. First innings, we should have scored a few more runs, uh, but we've seen how Australia batted on it. You can score runs out there, so just got to bat the day and you know come away with the draw at the end of it. That's the latest. There's more online at realradio.co.uk.